Well, you know, that's what you work for year-round. That's why you're up at 5 a.m. in the weight room all winter long, and you're working out uh, the same all summer long in order to have an opportunity to get in a situation to do that. Um, two best teams in the country are playing right here in Fort Wayne Saturday noon, so it'll be a great one. What's been your message to uh, your team this week? Uh, is revenge on your mind at all after? Nah, you don't get in that. You guys make too big a deal out of that. Uh, it, it's about staying in focus, uh, not playing the game during the week. You know, it's a gradual build up to game day. So there's been focus. We've had a good effort. We've had good preparation. So, you know, turn them loose on Saturday and, and uh, see what happens. I think that's an interesting point, though, that, I mean, this is the team that ended your season last year. How do you make sure that the guys don't get too focused on that and, and stay where they need to be? It's my job as coach. You know, you, you expect maturity out of your players. You learn from um, the past. That's history. You learn from it. You get better from it. You get stronger from it. You get wiser. Um, so I think, you know, you, you have to uh, take a, a step in the right direction each and every day in your preparation. What happened yesterday or last year doesn't mean anything at this point. You got, uh, as I say, you got two best teams squaring off, so it'd be a great game. What's different about this year's Marion team compared to last year? Is there anything uh, that we should be looking out for with this team, and what has stood out to you on tape with them? Not a whole lot. Uh, they got most of the guys back. I think they got nine back on offense. You got a young freshman quarterback who's doing very well. Um, they coached him very well into uh, distributing uh, the responsibility of the game, you know, to uh, a lot of talent. Got a stable of uh, receivers and running backs. They got uh, most of their offensive line returning. So, you know, they've done a good job and put him in a, a positive situation. Defensively, they got six starters back. They got some guys that weren't in there a year ago that are back that were there the year before. So, you know, they're a talented group. Now, focus and preparation. What have, um, I guess, what can you say, what have you done well this season as a team that you can carry over into Saturday? Well, I think we've played good team football. I think defensively, uh, our first defense, I think, has given up one, one touchdown all year. Uh, their defense is similar. Both defenses are fast. Uh, so it, probably uh, both teams, either team, has been really challenged thus far this season like they will be on Saturday. Um, but uh, you know, there's not a lot of difference in schematics and what they do. And in terms of, you know, they got a lot of returning players, so do we. Now, uh, last year, I believe, uh, hopefully I'm getting this right, they ran a bit of Wildcat with Hogan behind uh, shotgun. Uh, how do you guys, I guess, prepare for that this year? It seemed like last year they were very effective uh, do, with runs out of uh, the shotgun with him. Uh, well, I wouldn't be very smart if I told you our game plan. They're going to watch this. <laughs> but, you take care of yourself do your job that's all you can take all you can do you know sometimes you worry so uh, so much about the other guy you forget about what got you there and that's day-to-day -day improvement doing your job trusting yourself and your teammates for you and your career what does this rivalry meant to you as a coach I've been in a lot of games throughout my life. And, 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 you know, it's fun to be in these games. I've been in a lot of them. Uh, and I enjoy it. I love the competition. So, fun day. Great opportunity. Yeah, you got it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach.